Sorry if you hear some noise in the back, but you know, everyone is home. But I just want to talk about this quick subject. Um, today I was watching a video. It's this guy named Indian Red. I want to say his name, but you'll see his name in the um in the title. He's a rapper, he's 21 years old. I saw a video that kind of made me feel disturbed and feel bad for his family because he was on Instagram Live and he was talking to his friend. I don't know who the guy was, but they was having a conversation on live, Instagram Live, because it was like a split screen. And within a few minutes, all you heard was gunshots. Pow, 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 pow. And he was slumped over. Then when he got up, he was gasping for air. And I have never seen that. I have never seen that. He was gasping for air. He had like blood on his mouth. Um, he had his hand up. You could see his hands like just like folding. He had his keys in his hand. Um, he was, his friend was like, yo, what's going on? What happened? And um, he said, where you at? And the guy, and the guy still who was injured that was shot said Hawthorne. Um, he said he was Hawthorne and Next thing you know, the phone fell on, on the floor of the car. It was it was just really like shocking and startling because I was like, wow, this this happened and everybody is sharing the video. I will not put the video in this video because I don't want YouTube to flag me. But you can see that video. Just type it in Google. You'll see it on Instagram and on Twitter. It's just really, really sad. He was 21 years old. Now, rumor has it that um, it was retaliation for hmm, disrespecting Nipsey Hussle's mural. I'm not sure how true that is. I'm still looking into that to see what was going on. Why did they do this to him? The young man was in his car in the driver's side. And the guys, whoever they were, because you didn't see them, came up to the car and just, you know, let off shots. And he got hit. And the young man was gasping for air. You know, and it was just so heartbreaking. I was like, what is going on? What is this? So I couldn't see no more of the video. And, you know, not only that happened, but in Queens, um, my daughter called me and told me, hey, mom, do you remember this guy named Jawan Brown from 192? I think they went to a school in Queens together, a middle school in Queens together. And... She said he's always getting light in the hallway. Now, getting light, for those of you who don't know, it's a, it's a dance move. It's, it's a dance. Um, in New York, it's a dance. And she said, um, do you remember him? So when I went to his Instagram and looked at his pictures, I remember seeing him, you know. But when he was younger back then, he's older now. He was 24 years old. And he was sitting in his car. And some guys came through and shot up his car. And it hit him. And he he died. It's just so much gun violence going on in the Bronx. Um, I want his name. I want to say his name is Jaron Elliott, 13 years old. If I'm not saying his name correctly, please correct me in the comment section. Jaron Elliott, 13 years old, murdered. Okay, they said it was gang related. Um, his girlfriend, you know, I was reading up on it, said his girlfriend told him he don't need to be in no game, you know, to get out of that or whatever the case may be. And he was trying to get out of it and they killed him. So that's the story that was that I read. Now, if there's something else out there, I'll be I'll make sure to do more research and come back with a full story. But the whole thing, what I'm trying to say is it's all this gun violence has to stop. It's just too much happening. These young boys are not living to 25 years old. One little boy will never see what 14 look like or what 15 look like because he's gone to gun violence. Another young man, 24 years old, he won't see what to get to 30 or 25. Okay, gun violence. The young man that's 21, he won't, he not even going to see what 22 looks like. You know what I'm saying? Because gun violence. My thing is, if someone did something to you you don't like, you don't have the right to take their life. What could they have? What could have? What could they have done so bad for you to just walk up to their car and just start shooting? At some point, you're gonna get caught for that. It may not be now, but at some point, you're gonna get caught for that. How could you sleep at night knowing what you did to someone? You took somebody's child away from them. 
That's crazy to me. And it's just been on my mind all day today. It's just been on my mind all day. So I said, you know what? Let me come on here and talk about it for a little bit because some of you may know about it and some of you may not. But the gun violence is crazy. It is getting worse and worse out there. And these young boys are not living to see their next birthday. Okay? They're not living to see 18, 25, or 30. So, um... Let me know in the comment section if you heard about any of these stories. And my condolences go out to all these um, young, you know, young boys' parents, their families, because I know they're hurting, that they have to now sit down and make arrangements, funeral arrangements, for their child, for their cousin, for their brother, or whatever relationship they have for their family member. It's just really, really sad. So... That's all I have right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go watch a movie because I got to get that picture out of my head, that video out of my head. It was just really disturbing. But, um, you know, it's just really, really sad. All this gang and gun violence, it has to stop. It really do. It has to stop. So you guys take care and I'll catch you later.